Today I'm going to show you a variable speed controller that I have built myself. This device controls the speed of the motor and also manages the voltage along with it. This is not just an ordinary controller. It is a compact and smart system that gives you full command over your motor. That means you can easily adjust how fast the motor runs and how much power it consumes at the same time. And when I turn it back, the motor instantly slows down. The response is quick, stable and very precise. No jerks, no sudden drops. Just pure control at your fingertips. And here comes the real game changer. In this project, I have used a custom PCB. Instead of messy wiring, the PCB makes the whole setup compact, professional and much more reliable. Because of the PCB design, the circuit performs with maximum stability and gives consistent output without any loose connections or overheating issues. This is what takes a normal DIY project to the next level. I'll show you the entire making process. JLC PCB SMT service is certainly the best choice for assembling your PCBs. With the cutting-edge technology, they can save both your time and money, ensuring highest quality. In fact, they assemble electronic products from PCB design to PCB air products on the same online platform, which is very convenient for the customers. JLC PCB also establishes a well-trained engineers. Customer support team, which is very handy and helpful. Ordering SMT service is quite easy at link to jlcpcb.com. First, you need to upload the Gerber file. Turn on the SMT assembly button and confirm. Go next and check out with preferred shipping method. If you want to order SMT service with high quality and low cost, check the link in the description below. If you are into electronics or DIY circuit making, this platform is honestly a game changer. You can upload your PCB design directly to their website and they'll manufacture it with extremely high precision. Even beginners can get their circuits made like a pro without any hassle. I've personally ordered multiple PCBs from them and every single time, the quality has been outstanding neat finish, accurate solder mask, and fast delivery right at my doorstep. Now comes one of the most important steps, the connection process of this PCB. Instead of directly jumping into wiring, let's first prepare the board properly. I'm loosening the screw terminals using a screwdriver, and this small step is very crucial because tight and clean terminals ensure that no connection gets loose while the motor is running at high speed. Here we have a total of four connections to make, two dedicated for the motor output and two for the power input. What makes this design special is the way the PCB is laid out. The motor terminals are kept separate from the supply to avoid interference and the tracks are designed to handle higher current without heating. Now if we talk about the components mounted on this PCB, the quality is really impressive. Back to the main point, now it's time to connect the motor wires to our PCB and this step is extremely important because the performance of the whole project depends on how secure and precise these connections are. The motor has two wires one positive and one negative. I am carefully placing both wires into the dedicated motor terminal block on the PCB and tightening them firmly using a screwdriver. By connecting these two wires, we are basically bridging the heart of the motor with the brain of the PCB. Next step. So now I'm completing the power supply connection of this PCB. I have two dedicated terminals here, one for the positive and one for the negative line. All connections are complete. Now let's start the live testing and see the real power of this controller. The motor will respond instantly to every change in the controller, whether it's speed up, slow down, or running at a steady pace. This is where the real power of our variable speed controller comes alive. And remember, the components mounted on this PCB, from capacitors to resistors to ICs, all work together to ensure the motor gets gets clean and stable power. This dual control makes the project highly efficient. Because you're not just adjusting motion, you're also managing power consumption at the same time. This intelligent control is what makes this project unique. So friends, how did you like this circuit? Do let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, drop a comment and share it with your friends. That's all for today's project. I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, bye bye, take care and lots of love to you all. Even the smallest idea can turn into the biggest creation.